Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to Lesson 50 of PHP Programming. And today we're going to look at my SQLI relational database. And uh, the time has finally come. You know, we've been talking about uh, recreating the Selk software, specifically the storyboard piece. And we had two database tables. One was a sequences table, and the other supported the pages that existed inside that sequence table. So we actually built a database, and we put all that in it. And uh, what's going to be at the heart of what we're going to do today is what I it's what I call the my SQLI query method, and that will perform a query on the database. So you notice last time that we did this, we actually performed a query on the database, but we didn't use the query method. And that's one of the things that are difficult about SQLI is that uh, the methods are new. It uh, hasn't been around for very long. Uh, everyone understands SQLI uh, or MySQLI commands very well, but not necessarily MySQLI. I mean, but there's a number of posts on the web saying, how do you do this? How do you perform a relational database? How do you double while loop with an SQLI method? And we're actually going to show you how to do that today. So once again, we are reproducing the uh, CELT software, at least the storyboard part. And let's take a look at the database real quick. In addition to our two tables, pages and sequences, I've also added a third table called users, and that's where we're going to put our username password. And uh, basically, let's take a look at our sequences first. And these are the main categories right here. And each category has an ID number, and we relate our relational database using this ID number. And if you recall, some of these topics were Garden, Fall of Man, Flood, and Tower of Babel. Now, each one of these will have pages, so you're going to have a pages table that uses this ID to link back to, and also... Uh, has several topics under each one of these different IDs. So let's go to the pages table. And in the pages table, I kind of really fill out the uh, the first uh, parameter, of course. And we see what we're going to say here. We have a sequence here. And this also has an ID, but it also has an ID sequence. And that comes from the other table. And so you see we have a 1, 1. But we can skip that. It doesn't have to follow by ID. This would go to category 2. But this goes back to category 1, category 1, and so forth. We can also uh, determine what shot type we have, the description, the JPEG that goes along with that, the sketch if there's any, and also the page position is being taken care of here as well. So you may have a sequence, for example, and you want to have it in different page ordering, and you can change that in the database, and that's how that goes together. Let's bring up this uh, image right here, kind of highlight this a little bit. So what we've done, we've actually created a basic sequence table, and we have the ID of that table going into the pages table called sequence ID and basically we associate the pages uh, from the pages table to the particular uh, topic in the sequences table using that sequence ID. A pretty straightforward method. Let's go ahead and go to the code and see how that runs. So as I said I will be using the uh, MySQL query and not the other techniques that we used in the past to query the database. Uh, it'll make a lot more sense once you take a look at it. So in the past what we did to query a single database table is we just listed the table name and then we went down and we, of course, brought everything in using the constructor method and brought in the uh, config files to connect. And then if we wanted to basically uh, grab information from the data, we had to do a prepare statement. We had to do an execute statement. We had to do a bind result statement. And then we were able to do our where loop, and we threw everything into an array. Now we're going to do everything much more quickly using uh, the, this new technique using the query, MySQLI query command. So once again, we're in this. We're going to once again bring in our config file. We'll have two tables here: the sequences table and the pages table, because they're both going to talk to each other. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have our um, construct method, and we're going to bring on our information from the config table, and that gets us all connected. So once we're connected, we're going to look at this one a command right here: get all interfaces. And once we figure out how to do this, everything else follows from that. So we're going to find our query: query one. And in query one, we're just going to go to the table and we're just going to grab everything from it and order by ID. And we're not going to create statements as we did before. We're going to use, just use the MySQLI query command. And we're going to prepare a statement with the connection in query one. We'll put those in together and we just run a while loop on them. And if that's easy, we're going to use a MySQLI fetch array command and fetch each record from that database as if it's an array. And then we're going to echo out that information using the print R data info command. I'm going to do one more thing too. I'm going to give you the sequence number. So I'm actually going to grab the positions of the pages and print those out and say this is sequence 1, 2, and 3. So that gives the first table. And the second table, we're actually going to use a double while loop and create another query and grab all the information associating the two together. So let's run the first uh, example and show you what we get. So once again, the way I do that 
is I'm basically just going to come down to the very bottom here, create an instance of this class, and then run the get all interface method. So let's run it. And when you run that, it's actually going to grab each array, and it's going to print that array out to the screen. And this is sequence 1, and that's what we, we expect it. Sequence 2 would be the fall of man, sequence 3 the flood, and sequence 4. These are the main titles, but I want to associate pages with each one of these titles. And the way I do that is it's fairly easy. I create another while loop and another query. So let's go back. Once again, we're using query 1 to search through the first table. We prepare the statement using a MySQL query command and we have the first while loop. Now inside of that while loop we want to put another while loop that pages over the particular pages associated with that particular ID. Let's get rid of this comment here. So here's my second query and my second query says hey let's go to page name. So now I'm going to actually go to the pages and I want to use the ID of each of the previous sequence that I'm iterating through. So if you recall, sequence ID came from the sequence table. And so I'm declaring this handler here from the fetch array that actually can I can pull any piece of data from here. I'm just going to look at the IDs. So I'm looking at the IDs of the sequence table. I'm saying whenever you see the ID associated with a page number, pull that page number down. So basically select everything from the pages, look for the sequence ID that's associated with the ID you're iterating over now, and order by position. Then I just prepare that uh, SQL uh, query statement with the connection and the query two, And I run a while loop right over it, just like I did before. Page info will be my particular handler here. And I'm just going to grab all the arrays from that. I am going to echo out a page info and position to give me the position number. And then I'll just print out that particular uh, array set. So let's run it real quick. And now this is pretty amazing. We get the first sequence right. But within that first sequence, we have page one, page 2, page 3, just like what you're seeing in the cell software. And in the second sequence, and in the second sequence we have page 1, page 2, and in the third, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth sequence we didn't have any other pages under those. So now we're actually being able to associate the sequences with their pages. And now all we need to do is build a nice Adobe Flex interface and we'll be able to in a sense get almost the exact cell software but now with the fluidity of Flash Builder and also with the ability to put it on the web where self does not run native to the web. So we're making some progress here and in this series of tutorials we're going to finish all this up and show you how to make that beautiful piece of software run on the web. So let's just uh, review quickly what we did. Once again very much like the previous uh, solution to grabbing data from the database for one table we actually just brought in our config file. We created another table name called pages and also had our same connection variables. Just as previously, we brought in our config variables and connected to the server. And then we ran the get all interface method. But as opposed to last time using binding and results and all the other mechanisms that we used before, we used a query name. So we took the query and used a MySQLI query so we could actually get a double iteration of the while loop without worrying about having to bind and release resources. And so we did one while loop to get the sequences. And while we're in that one while loop, we iterated over a second while loop, which took the sequence of that while loop and iterated all the pages that belong to us. So using that double while loop scenario, we now have a relational database. Fantastic. And I have probably got, you know, 100 questions on how do you build a relational database in Flash Builder. And here it is, guys. So just take this code, uh, download it, and uh, use it however you want. So we're moving forward, and you know, it's small little steps, but we're getting a lot of information here. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. I'll see you next time, and we're going to start building a password system.